The Megabender O30 offers eight modes of programming and operational control, and they are 1. Data Entry Mode 2. Speed Control Mode 3. Non-Mandrel Bending Mode 4. Mandrel Bending Mode 5. Ring Roller Bending Mode 6. Shaft Reset Mode 7. Language Selection Mode and 8. System Test Mode. Selecting the Display Operating Language Your Bender programmable display was preset at the factory to English. Ten alternative languages are available for your convenience. Should you wish to change the operating language, depress the menu key. Depress the plus or minus key until the display reads Language Selection. Depress Enter to select the language mode. Depress plus or minus until the desired language is selected. Depress Enter to confirm your selection. Setting the hex shaft to zero. Before mounting the center former, ensure that the hex shaft mark is aligned to the zero position stamped on the main casting. Also, make sure the digital display reads zero. Refer to the diagram in your operator's manual. If the hex shaft is not properly aligned, depress the bend return button on the control panel to ensure that the hex shaft has been returned to the zero point. For further adjustments, on the control panel depress menu, then press the plus or minus key until the display reads shaft reset mode. Depress enter to select the shaft reset mode. Depress the return or bend key until the zero marks align, then depress enter. The display should now read, Shaft Reset Stored. To set the counter bending die axis to zero on the display, depress Enter. Note, the bender will not cycle if the counter bending die axis is not at the zero position. This zero point adjustment accommodates various center formers and material sizes. Selecting the proper bending speed. The Megabender O30 offers programmable variable speed bending. As a general rule, tubes from 1 quarter inch to 1 and 3 eighths inches in diameter can be bent in the automatic mode at higher RPM. Larger tubes, heavy walls, or solid should be bent in the manual mode using lower RPM. The control panel LED will indicate the current mode of speed control. Should the machine overload while bending, reduce the RPM until the bend can be completed. To enter the speed control mode, depress Menu. The display reads Data Entry Mode. Depress plus or minus to select the speed control mode, then depress Enter. Depress plus to display manual or automatic operation mode, then depress Enter to select the manual or automatic mode. To program your bender for non-mandrel bending or Mode 3, depress Menu, then depress the plus or minus key until non-mandrel bending mode is displayed. Depress Enter to confirm your selection. To enter data entry mode with the machine on and emergency stop released, the display reads Forward, C, Bend, Die, or similar. Depress the Menu key. The display now reads Main Menu, 1. Data Entry Mode. Depress Enter. The display now reads GRP1, RPM 1.52. Here, GRP refers to the program number. To select the proper program number, depress the plus or minus key to change to the desired program. The display will periodically flash the message to input data, push star for 3 seconds. Depress the star key for three seconds once you have selected the desired program. To enter the first bend angle, depress the plus or minus key to enter the desired bend angle. Then depress Enter. This confirms the first bend angle. The machine will prompt you to enter additional bend angles within the same program. If you desire additional bend angles within the current program, you should input them at this time in the same manner. When you are done programming all of your bend angles, you can adjust the RPM. Make sure you are in the program mode. After selecting the program, depress Cursor. Depress the plus or minus key to increase or decrease the RPM value. 
you press Enter to store the RPM. The display should now read GRP1 RPM 1.52. This is the working display. If you depress Enter, you'll see the current program settings. Determining the spring back setting. With all previous steps completed, make sure the material and tooling are in the bending position. Depress the bend key and hold. This will start the bending cycle. Once the material starts to bend, release the bend key and stop. Observe the degree reading on the LCD display. You must compensate for the material spring back. Spring back is the natural tendency of a material to return to its original shape. Depress the Enter key to store the spring back value for the individual bend within the program. This value can be edited later if needed. Note, you must set the spring back for each bend within the program during the first run through the program. To adjust the counter bending die support screw, use the provided T-handle wrench and turn the adjustment screw until it contacts the back side of the vise. Secure the screw with the locking jam nut. This adjustment screw affects the quality of the bend and must be set each time the material profile and or size are changed. Depress the bend key to complete the bend cycle. The machine will stop automatically at the programmed bend angle. Depress the return key to bring the former and shaft back to the original or home position. Note, the bender display will automatically move to the next bend within the program. The bend angle and spring back settings can be edited at any time during the forward bending cycle by depressing the cursor key once for spring back and twice for bend angle until the display cursor begins to flash. Use the plus or minus keys to change to the desired setting. Note, to perform edits, you must be in the forward bend cycle. Pick up the phone and call us. You'll discover why so many customers ask for Ercolina by name. Be sure you ask for Ercolina today. Ercolina, beware of imitations.